Hi, I'm Ryan Poe. Welcome to this week's KMBU Roundtable. I'm here joined today by Alex Baird and Jalen Link. Let's talk some pro football, boys. Which NFL team do y'all think had the best free agency pickup? Um, personally, for me, looking into it, I'm looking at the Houston, Texas, picking up, picking up Ed Reed. Uh, personally, because Ed Reed brings great leadership to a team. Um, as you saw in the previous season in the Super Bowl, Ed Reed had uh, great leadership skills in the uh, field, made great plays, and he just brings that versatility to a team. And Jalen? I would have to say Percy Harvin going to the Seahawks. Uh, Percy Harvin was the Vikings' best overall athlete. Adrian Peterson even said it. And just, I can see Pete Carroll just doing a lot of things with Percy Harvin. He's very talented, very diverse. He can do anything on, on the football field. Okay. And uh, the NFC and AFC, who, who do y'all think are going to be the hottest teams to come out this season? In the NFC. NFC, I'm personally going to go with the Atlanta Falcons. I mean, if you just look at their previous season, statistics show it. Um, going in the season, getting about 13 wins there, and they just got a good uh, overall passing game, and it's just really unstoppable for secondaries to take care of in that receiving core. And Jalen, what do you think about that? NFC, I'd have to go with San Francisco 49ers. Like, they went to the Super Bowl last last season. Colin Kaepernick is probably one of the hottest quarterbacks in the game right now. The top 10 defense. Probably top five, just their best team in the NFC, I would say. Okay, and what do you all think about the AFC? You know, there's a lot of young talent out right now. What do you all think about that? <clears throat> AFC, I'm going to have to jump right into it and go with the uh, Denver Broncos, Ryan, because, uh, you know, they just have so many weapons on both offense and defense. Looking into their offense specifically, you have a great leadership with Peyton Manning. Um, you got some really good experience. Um, and then you have your receiving core as well with uh, the brand new Wes Welker who's just added um, and, uh, weapons like that. So, <coughs> the AFC, I would probably have to go with the Houston Texans, bringing in Ed Reed, as Alex said, a great leader. They have probably one of the best running backs in the game in Arian Foster, a very productive quarterback in Matt Schaub. And Andre Johnson, he's hungry. I know he wants this. I want, want to ring this year. Uh, and their defense, another top five defense right there. So I'm going to have to pick the Houston Texans. Okay. Now let's talk about Super Bowl predictions. You know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of players ended up in uh, a lot of weird places this year. So what do you all think uh, about the prediction for this year's Super Bowl? Um, I'm going to have to go with NFC. I'm going to have to go with the Atlanta Falcons. And for the AFC, I'm going to choose the Denver Broncos just solely based on what I saw last season and then the um, new additions that they added this season. Well, I'm either going to I'm going to stick with my NFC pick with the San Francisco 49ers and mm. Houston Texans. I'm pretty think it's going to be a great year for football this year. Okay. Now, I know both of you had your own personal teams. Um let's start with the the Kansas City Chiefs, Jalen. Uh what do you see uh happening for them this year? I see great things for the Kansas City Chiefs. Starting from the bottom up, they've completely changed everything. They have a new general manager, new head coach, new quarterback. And they brought in a lot of talent with uh, Sean Smith from the Dolphins, Dunta Robinson from the Falcons. Just, just secondary, top 10 defense, great running back. We're ready. This is our year. Okay. And to you, uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Um, based on my picks, I'm not biasly choosing the Atlanta Falcons, but um, just looking at what they have to offer, I mean, that receiving core with Julio Jones and Roddy White is just absolutely unstoppable for corners. I mean, it's going to be trouble for coaches to make a game plan around that. And then obviously bringing in Steven Jackson from the uh, St. Louis Rams, that was a very good addition to the team. Because, I mean, now we have a running game that we can uh, rely on if uh, if passing game does not go as it planned. And then uh, great leadership in Matt Ryan, who most people may disagree with me, but I, I believe Matt Ryan has what it takes to take team to the Super Bowl. That'll do it for this week's KMBU Roundtable. I'd like to thank my guests, Alex Baird and Jalen Link. I'm Ryan Poe, and we'll see you next time.